it's your boy Andre back with another episode of Packed In Action Figure Reviews, where we give you that action that's packed in. And on today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Blade. Now, I have done a review for this figure before. This episode is mainly going to be focusing on providing you guys with a tutorial step-by-step to create a neutral head sculpt for this figure. When this figure was originally released, a lot of people did like it. However, a lot of people complained that there was not a head sculpt that was neutral. Uh, not to say that this head sculpt is bad because this head sculpt definitely embodies and embraces the energy of Blade. However, it would have been nice if we had a stoic head sculpt for Blade. Now I have done a tutorial on this figure before. To give a quick recap what we did in that previous tutorial, we actually took the lower legs of the newer Blade and we swapped them and put it on the upper body of the previous Marvel Legends Blade that shares the same upper torso of this one. So if you guys wanna check that out and see how I did that, go back and check my video less and you guys should be able to find it. So on today's episode, I am going to be giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the materials that we are going to be utilizing in order to create this neutral head sculpt. And if you guys haven't figured it out already, we actually did have a neutral head sculpt that came with Blade. Um, so what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be revisiting and utilizing his bald head. Uh, because as you can see here, there's really minimal difference other than maybe the skin tone and maybe a slight shape in the uh in the shape of the glasses but more or less i think that the previously released marvel legends blade head i think this works really good for a stoic head sculpt and as you guys can kind of see i kind of did sand out the hair or the tattoos that was on the top of his head just to kind of get it smoothed down so we are going to need the previously released Marvel Legends Blade in order for this to work. I went ahead and I took the liberty of painting his eyes black. They originally came out this color with the red. Uh, at first I was thinking of using this head since he already has hair on here, but as you guys can see on the back of the head sculpt on this newer one, we do see that he kind of has like that fade style going on and I kind of wanted to keep it, you know what I'm saying, consistent. Got a little fuzz on there. I wanted to keep it consistent so I figured, you know what, why not start from scratch and replicate, you know, basically putting the Millie Putt on this head here. So I definitely think that this stoic face is something that we could definitely utilize because I feel like the similarities are pretty on point. Then we're going to need some tools in order for us to work with our Millie Putt. So we do have a little shaping tool here and I also do have an X-Acto knife that we can also utilize. We're going to use this to actually cut the Millie Putt in half and we can also use it as a shaping tool as well. And then this is just pretty much, um, as I stated before, the shaping tool. We also do have some Millie Putt here and there are many different versions of Millie Putt that you can get. I got mine at Hobby Lobby as you can see for about 8 bucks so not too bad. Um, I do know that it comes in different colors however I am only familiar with using this. And then we also do have some water here to the side that way we can kind of help mesh some of the uh, sculpting lines when we're dealing with the Millie Putt and then you're also going to need some paint I got here some black paint just to go over the head since the putty is not going to be black obviously and then I also do have gloss coat uh, because looking at the hair that we have on blade we can kind of see that it does have that gloss type look um, so we're definitely going to need that to cover up that black paint once we're finished with it. also we could also you definitely use some toothpicks uh, this is also going to be used as pretty much like a shaping tool to kind of help, you know, get more pinpoint accuracy. So if you do have some toothpicks laying around, I would definitely say that's another good uh, material to have. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So step one, we're going to take our Millie putt. We're going to take it out of the box. And um, this is actually my first time using Millie putt. So this is going to be just as much as a learning experience for me. Um, as it is you, if this is your first time doing something like this. So I'm gonna cut right here on the Millie Putt. And that's probably a bit much. Then I'm also gonna take another quarter here, cut there. 
and I'm gonna mix these two together. I'm gonna take these two, mesh them together, and we just keep doing this and doing this and doing this. So we can knead it like that, push it into itself. Now, you know, I'm actually pretty surprised by the texture of this uh, Millie putt. I thought it would have been a little bit softer. It is definitely sturdy, so I definitely do like that. You know what I'm saying? You definitely can get some nice shapes and stuff in there. So we're gonna go ahead and keep mixing. All right, and once we get it all nice and mixed together and meet it up with one another, it should be a consistent color similar to this. And uh, once we get it like that, we can actually go ahead and get started. Uh, one thing to note with Millie Putt, um, from what I'm reading on the instructions, it does say that it does become rock hard, pause, but from in three to four hours. So that's definitely something that we want to just keep in mind. And honestly, I don't think it's gonna take us three to four hours in order to sculpt some, uh, some, some, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna take us three to four hours to sculpt some hair on this blade. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and give Blade here the GTA 5 Barbershop Special, you know what I'm saying? So again, if you did have the previously released Marvel Legends Blade, uh, before we do get started, I would highly advise that the hair that was on there, that you sand it off. Um, the sandpaper that I used was sandpaper like this. Uh, this sandpaper is, let's see, P150, light surface prep, light smoothing of raw wood, drywall, fiberglass, and metal. You could also use it for plastic too, that's what I use. So go ahead and use that if you wish. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start getting this guy sculpted. So uh, again, my first time doing it, so we'll see what we can do. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, I guess. Start from the top. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is a little bit harder than I thought. It's not extremely hard, but again, it's my first time. So, you know what I'm saying? It's my first time working with Millie Putt, and I will say that it's very, very sticky. But as you guys can see, I am kind of getting, you know, that basic shape of the flat top, you know, the fade. And, you know, we're gonna just continue putting on Millie Putt on top of the head. My only issue right now is, you know, when I'm putting it on the head sculpt, it's kind of like peeling off at the same time. So I'm just trying to work my way around that. But let's go ahead and keep putting on some more Millie Putt on top of his head, just to kind of build that shape. And, um, you know, I do realize that if I grab little by little, that seems to be kind of the trick for me. Every now and then I am taking this head as a reference just to kind of see like how far along I need to get. I am gonna definitely, I would say, wipe off the excess putty that is on the figure. You don't want it to dry and mold onto your figure. Uh, so I am gonna wipe that down in a few. But as you can see, we're definitely getting more towards that kind of hairline. We can definitely see that this blade here kind of receives a little bit more at the temple. So I'm gonna try to use a toothpick to kind of make it go up like that. So we're gonna add a little bit more putty here on the back side of the head. We do need more putty there. But as you guys can see, it's not extremely difficult. It is just going to require some patience. Um, I would definitely say patience is definitely gonna be needed if you do want your results to come out relatively decent. I would say prep time is probably gonna take us about an hour if you really wanted to get it good, get it good. But in this tutorial, of course, we're gonna try to shorten it up to make it, you know, a little bit more easier for, for you guys. So here we go, let's continue. So we're definitely getting more of that flat top shape. And of course, I know his hairline is kind of looking real crooked. It's not looking exactly like how it looks here, 
but again we are going to fix that we are going to utilize the toothpick it's just that i do want the top of the front portion of his head you can kind of see that it kind of goes up kind of like the james jameson kind of hairstyle and uh, we definitely want to kind of replicate that same look now i definitely do see that here his flat top definitely looks um a lot larger but that's okay because uh, after this does dry, you can sand it down, uh, which is something that I really do like about the Millie Pup. But for right now, again, I just want this portion of the head of the hair to stick out similar to how it is here. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of keep adding on to the shape. And I think, you know, we're coming out pretty good with, you know, how his flat top is coming out. And, um, you know, again, you could use your fingers to kind of just molding the shape of everything man it's crazy what you know like art can really do you know what i mean i definitely like just love this process man you know what i'm saying so as you can see you know more and more if we can just kind of get everything to blend in together we don't really want any rough textures being left behind because sometimes it can show through paint uh, but because we're painting it black, it may not as much, but we still want to make sure that we get a relatively decent kind of shape to everything. And I think so far, man, I think it's not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. All right. So with that being said, now I am going to do my best to take a look at the hairline on this blade and I'm going to do my best to kind of match it up here on this head sculpt here so shit let's make this work let's see what i can do All right, and after going at it for quite some time, I think this is a pretty good start off or base to kind of start off with. I do also see here that our blade, he does kind of have a goatee, so I think I'm gonna add that on there. Now, one thing I do wanna note while I was adding on the uh, Millie putt on top of the head is um, while it was drying on top of the head, I realized that it can kind of come off like that, which I thought was pretty cool. So just be careful when you are sculpting this because it can kind of come on there kind of loose. I kind of do like the fact that it dried like this on top of the head sculpt because now when I try to glue it on there, I can be a little bit more precise with where I want this exactly to be. But um, again, we're gonna sand this down, but we're gonna just let this dry for about three hours or four hours and we're gonna get back to it. But so far, I really like how it's coming out. You know, we're gonna put it on top of there, get it to a nice little area, man. And then we're gonna glue it on top of the head. And once we glue it, we are going to sand it down just so that, you know, his hair and everything like that is even all around. But um, we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do. But again, like I said, we're gonna let this dry for a little bit and come back to it. So let this dry for about three to four hours and we shall come back. Now, after letting mine sit for a little bit, unfortunately, the piece here on the side, it broke. So I am gonna, I had to add some clay onto it and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna sand it down. But as you can see, man, I think it's coming out really, 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 really well. Um, you know, of course it needs to be sanded down in certain places. But I think for what it is so far, I don't think it's that bad. Of course, it's not going to be a perfect one-to-one -one match, but, you know, something is better than nothing, all right? So here's your angry face, and here's your stoic face blade. And uh, once we get them all cleaned up and we have everything painted, I think it'll look really nice. So again, we're going to just let this dry since I had to uh, add some new clay on to there to get this piece here to stick. And once it dries, I'm going to sand it down once more, get everything nice, even and smooth. And then once we have everything nice, even and smooth, we're going to go ahead and add some paint to this guy. And when your head sculpt on your figure begins to dry, 
uh, what I did with mine, I actually super glued mine on top of the head sculpt so that way when I'm sanding it, um, you know what I'm saying, it could be a little bit more smooth, but as you can see, you know what I'm saying, I wanna smooth this down to where it matches with about the same smoothness of the skin tone so that way when you rub the hair going into the skin, the back of his head, it'll be one smooth transition. If I can get it like that, it'll be great. If not, it's cool. As you can see, you gotta be careful with the sanding because I did accidentally scrape some of the black paint that I had painted over the red eyes. So just something to note. So from this point forward, man, I mean, I think we're looking actually pretty good. You know, I just gotta paint it now. But I think for what it's worth, of course, once we clean up the face and everything like that, I think this is looking good for a pretty neutral head sculpt. So I'll update you guys in a minute and we'll see what we get from there. So from this point forward, you just keep sanding. All right, and after putting in a good amount of time of sanding, there was a lot of sanding that I did off the camera, so I don't want you guys to think that I did this all on the camera, but you wanna take your time with the sanding. The sanding process is probably gonna be one of the most time consuming. Um, I'm probably like on day two now. You know, I work a regular nine to five job, so you know, I try to do this when I can in my free time. But um, as you can see, you know, I, I just keep sanding away until I feel like I get the overall shape of the hair. As you can see, you know, it's my first time I did make a few mistakes. So I am gonna add a little bit of more Millie put right there in that corner just to make the hair more flush connecting with the skin. Uh, but as you can see here, man, you know what I'm saying? It is coming together pretty well. I unfortunately did scratch up the top of his forehead a little bit. I am gonna take another attempt at creating the beard. And here on the side, unfortunately, a piece of the hair broke off. Luckily, I was able to find the piece, so I'm gonna see if I can glue it back on there. But overall, I think it's coming together pretty well. One thing to note while sanding is take a look at your head 360 or whatever it is that you're trying to replicate in the sculpt. You can see that his flat top is not exactly a flat top. It goes up, then it comes down. And then here, if you look at the hairline from here, you could see that his forehead protrudes, um, you know what I'm saying, above the hairline. So when you're sculpting yours, you essentially wanna try and replicate the same thing. As you can see here, the forehead protrudes a little bit outside more. I may have to sand uh, his hairline further in to kind of get, you know, replicate that same look. But I'm gonna keep sanding, and um, that's essentially what I want you guys to do. I'm gonna sand more here towards the back, so that way the hair is more flush with the skin here in the back as well. And as you can see here on mine, it seems like the back portion of his flat top is a little high, so I'm gonna try to match it with that. So you just wanna turn your, again, turn your head sculpt that you're trying to replicate Turn it around 360, see where the light, you know, bounces off of it and do your best to replicate with the sanding. All right, so after filling in some of the gaps, as you can see, I have the hair on this side here, a little bit more flush. And with the lower part of his fade, I was able to extend it past his ear a little bit to kind of make it match up with this side. And then I also did add the goatee there. Um, I tried to get the goatee as best as I could. I'm definitely gonna sand it down once it dries. So it is gonna have a little bit of thickness to it. But so far, I think it's coming out really good. Once this dries, I'm gonna sand it down some more just to get everything all nice and smooth. And then once I do that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start painting everything. So, so far, so good. Let's get a back profile. You know what I mean? Let's get the side profile. And again, it's the, you know, the accuracy is not gonna be one-to-one, -one, but you know, this is definitely shit well 
long overdue. And here, once again, is the front. And here again, here, we also do have the side. I tried to get the hairline as close as I possibly could, but you know, hey bro, we make it do what it do. I mean, his hairline up here definitely goes a lot more forward in. Uh, maybe I'll fix it, you know, who knows? We shall see. All right, so once you have the figure all nice and sanded down, as you guys can see, it looks a little bit more cleaner. I know over here you can kind of see some cracklage and stuff like that on the hair piece, but I am going to be painting that over black. Hopefully the cracks don't show. I feel like it's smooth enough to the touch to where it won't. And it's the same thing here uh, with the goatee. Hopefully it doesn't leave that nasty little mark um, that sometimes leaves if you don't do the paint correctly. But hopefully we'll have enough plastic under there to kind of fudge it along the way. But as you guys can see, I feel like, you know, although it may not be a perfect replica one-to-one, -one, I feel like both of these faces uh, definitely represent Blade. Um, I am gonna go over the glasses with the paint, um, with the black paint, just to kind of make sure everything is all in one accord. But I feel like this works for a pretty good neutral head sculpt for Blade. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get him painted. After you finish sanding down your figure, you're gonna wanna wash it off with some warm soap and some water and dry it off thoroughly. That way, you know, when you're painting over the figure, you know, you're painting on a clean surface and that way your paint lasts much longer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get our paint ready and start painting this guy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And in order for me to paint this guy, I am using Tester's acrylic black paint. Um, you wanna stay away from the Nemo paints as those don't apply too well to the actual uh, plastic itself. So we're gonna go ahead and just get started and less is more with this paint. So we're gonna go ahead and let that sit and dry for a few minutes. That's gonna be our first coat. Then we're gonna go over it and just do the, some of the fine more detailing of the actual figure. But so far, so good. I like the way it's coming up. So once we have everything all sanded down and painted, this is the final result as far as what we're looking at for our stoic head sculpt. And I can definitely say that I am very thoroughly pleased with the results and how this blade came out. I definitely feel like when you look at this head sculpt, it's unmistakably blade, of course. This is my own work, so I am gonna be a bit biased. If I had to give myself an honest critique, I would say maybe his goatee is a little bit on the big side. But apart from that, man, I think that when you look at this head sculpt, man, I think that it's a pretty good alternative uh, for what we at least have right now. So since Hasbro did not give us a stoic head sculpt with this kind of head, uh, head style here, you know, sometimes we have to take it upon ourselves to kind of go ahead and do that. I am probably going to touch up some more of the paint here on this side of the head sculpt as you can kind of see, it's a little bit splotchy. So I am definitely gonna do that, but just for the sake of time and just, you know, encouraging you guys to take a leap of faith. Uh, you know, I was not 100% sure on how this was going to turn out, um, you know, but I think that it came out pretty good. And just, you know, taking a look here at the reference material, you know what I'm saying? Um, one thing to point out, the elephant in the room, obviously the skin tone is different. Um, I did want to paint the skin tone. I am going to do that on my own time, but I just wanted to, you know, save time and get this video out in a timely manner because I did hint at a few people that I was gonna be dropping this video. So this is what the side profile looks like on the side. Of course, it's not gonna be a one-to-one -one scale, but you know, we're doing the best that we can. But I think that this works as a relatively, really well, decent head sculpt for Blade, man. I really like the way that it came out. Again, I am gonna to touch up that area right there, but I think for what it's worth, man, I think that this figure came out really well. So. 
hopefully this tutorial helped. Um, you know, if there's any questions or any concerns or any comments or any questions of clarity that you guys would like for me to answer, um, you know, definitely let me know and I will, you know, answer them to the best of my ability. Um, again, this is my first custom, so uh, not my first custom, but my first time working with Millie, Millie Putt, so be nice. Um, but thank you guys for checking out my tutorial. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully, you know, you guys get this stoic head sculpt that we should have gotten from Hasbro originally with this release. Uh, but sometimes we have to take matters into our own hands. So thank you guys for checking out my video. Uh, please like and subscribe, man. You know, I'm on the come up, man. I'm trying to, you know, make a name for myself. So thank you guys for all who have been supporting me and commenting underneath my channel and just, you know, conversing with me man and just reasoning with me man i definitely like to talk about you know the reviews and just different things you know about the figures and stuff like that man so once again thanks for checking out packed in action figure reviews where we give you that action that's packed in all right guys stay blessed